Dr. Greeting, greeting, Doctor. You too, boy. If you go post land. Hi, everyone. Uh, get closer. We get a little closer. <laughs> okay. Must be a little higher. He's tall. I don't know. Uh, North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East. Gotta get a little closer here. I don't know. Having time, baby. Second hand. There we go. Okay, this is close. Okay. I can get. Yeah, this right here. Okay, uh, ouch. Well, Dietrich Reese, Versailles, and Christmas Eve here at East Motor Church in uh, Ingville, Illinois. We love you all. We got some of our members, Lisa Miller and I, and we'll tell them what Christmas means for them. Christmas means me, Jesus' birth, 2,000 years ago, the greatest Christmas story ever told. Been preaching 32 years, been saved 41 years, been God prophet 28 years. And Betty, what does Jesus mean to you? Oh, Jesus is love. He's love, he's, he's, uh, he's the world to me. Right there, right there. And the universe. Jesus is love, and we are celebrating him right now, so. And. Okay. That's who he is. Here's where some of our buddy worked on the table here. We got the little. No in the end for Jesus, the manger here. Different things, little angels all over the place. I got a big thing today. What did that thing say, Betty, that uh, fly with the angels, dance with the stars? I ain't talking about dancing stars, TV either here. I'm talking about kingdom stars, you know, God stars. Thank you. And uh, this guy here is my middle service. John Travolta, we hold a record set in Illinois. Hold on, John, I'll get you. <laughs> Have a time with you. Well, anyways, let <laughs> me get a better shot over here. Oh, yeah. Bio surgery, six years. He gave me a, a neck surgery with a big plates in me, C5, 6, 7, took my four disc out, lumbar, lumbar 5, 4, 3, S1, better back surgery. Just got over three weeks ago. My left hand's going dead on me on the, my nerves, your nerve, and, and carpal tunnel. You know, he's a humble sort of five-star John Travolta family. I, John, I think he's getting to know you here going on six years now. And uh, he's got all kinds of big angels, little angels. we got all our Christmas cards here tonight. Can you see that thing there? we got more cards over here. Thank you, guys. All so least the winner. That's a Christmas card. We got Christmas cards over the place. Angels over the place. And we'll come see some of the people tonight. We said Deacon Hobie at where's Hobie at? Oh he's over there on his drums. Hobie. What do you have to say tonight, Mr. Hobie? I do advise. Let's listen. I do that. Amen. We thank you, Katie's got drums for Hobies to play here. Okay, we'll come over here and see some of these people, some of our friends. What do you want to say? This is Ming's family and friends together. How about you, brother? Ran together. Hey, Ming, how about you, son? Christmas means a lot to me because I have a fiance. And I love him dearly. I wish I could see you this Christmas, but I've I just got a lot of stuff to do this Christmas. My family and friends, and I just love him. Just love my family and friends dearly. I wish I wish they can just get along, bro. I wish I can just get my family and get along real good this Christmas. Oh, man. We love you. Merry Christmas. Happy you're just good family. New people. And these old friends, Catherine, Jim, and her son here coming. Anything special to you going for Christmas? Yes. Jesus is the birth and my Savior and soon coming King. Amen. Praise the Lord. Well, young lady, what does Jesus mean to you? Everything. My whole life. Amen. Glad to have you tonight. Amen. We're going to start the sermon tonight. We're going to be in Matthew, the three wise men story. Huh? Oh, she, yeah. Okay. Let's be get set up here. Gentlemen, 
going to start your engines. I'll get your Bible ready. See where I'm at here. Okay, let me go. I got it right here, I think. Okay. Right there. Okay. No, I'm perfect. I got it. I got it. Okay. Just getting ready. Okay. Okay. Roll lights, action, camera. Here we go. Won't you agree with me prayer tonight? Lord Jesus Christ, let us always remember you're the reason for the season. Ain't how many uh, Christmas presents under the tree. And we know Satan's the big lie. It's your birth. God the ever give us Jesus Christ, the greatest present of mankind, priceless. If you ain't got a penny in your pocket, Jesus lives in your life. You're a rich man, woman, I walk the face of earth tonight. I know him, consecrate him, dedicate him. North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East. The greatest story ever told. The birth of Jesus Christ, Savior, Messiah, King of Kings, and Lord of Lords. At least the brother took the King of Illinois on Christmas Eve night, December 24, 2016. We're going to be in Matthew tonight. Amen, amen. Matthew chapter 2. You know, the wise men have to be wise. You're not being a wise man to be a bunch of uh, not smart people, stupid people. And nobody's ever calculated this, but I'll tell you about the wise men. They followed that star for two years. Can you imagine them might have come from well there, China, Mongolia? Let's say if they got 10 miles a night following that star, uh, 10 hours, you know, you can't follow a star daytime, it's got to be nighttime. Them old camels there, they, you know, they didn't walk a mile for the camel, they don't cigarette commercial. They rode in three camels for about two years. If you calculate 10 miles per night, 365 days a year, I did a new revelation from the Lord. 7,300 miles, if people, they knew Jesus Christ. That was a special sign from God Israel, the star of East Star of Bethlehem. They come 7,300 miles. Can you imagine through the desert, over the mountains, how they followed that star? Because God told them to give Jesus, he was king and king, Lord, Lord, the gold, and myrrh, the myrrh. The frankincense, you know what I mean? <clears throat> so we're going to be out. Uh, <clears throat> Holy Bible now, Matthew chapter 2. We're going to read verse 1. Now when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of Herod the king, behold, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that born king of Jews? We have seen the, his star in the east, and are come to worship him. When Herod the king had heard these things, Herod one of the most wicked, well, uh, mean, demon-possessed king, and one of Israel, Israel's history, like Jezebel was queen, you know. She was an evil, wicked, uh, demon-possessed queen. He was troubled in all Jerusalem with him. See, they didn't understand Jesus' birth. Jesus was a spiritual king. Herod thought Jesus was going to be threat to the throne, the physical throne. People of the world don't understand. They look natural. They go by sight. We walk by faith. They look in the natural. We go supernatural. You know, it's God's revelation. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes and people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And when he, and they said it to him in Bethlehem of Judea, for thus is written by the prophet. Thank God for this holy Bible from Genesis to Revelation. It's not some part is whole truth. Nothing but truth will help me, God. And thou, Bethlehem, in the land of Ju Judah, art not the least among the prince of Judah? For out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. You know, yesterday, their uh, President Obama would have beat them. They're trying to divide Israel. United Nations. Abraham blessed. Trying to steal the land in front of Israel. It ain't the Palestinian lands or the, or, or the Muslim lands or Arab lands. It's a God of Israel land. 
The divine to Abraham blessed. We're seeing the Bible prophecy in Daniel being fulfilled, you know, yesterday. First time in the United States, President Obama betrayed uh, Israel. First time since 1979. It's been a long time. How long has that been? But that 37 years, I think. Let's see, 79, 21 years. Well, 17th at the door, we could say uh, uh, 38 years going on. But Donald Trump says he's going to take care of business. I hope he pulls out of the United Nations. You know, a United Nations, one world government, one new world order, one world currency, one world religion. They don't want nothing to do with uh, Christians. They want to kill the Christians due to propaganda, put the Christian slave in their uh, regular global citizens, uh, propaganda FEMA camps here. Then here's what his credible link called the wise men. And quarter them diligently, what time the star appears. <clears throat> and he said then to Bethlehem, say, Go and search diligently for the young child, and when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. Herod didn't want his eternal life through his teeth. He want to kill Jesus, King of King of Lord. He want to kill him. When they heard the king, they departed, and lo, the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. That star was a miracle of God. And God still did the signs, wonders, and miracles today in 2016. When they saw the star, they rejoiced when exceedingly great. Would you rejoice too if you was on a camel for two years, went about 7,300 miles? You know. The poor camel donkey was told, wore out to them camels. I, I go to a camel, I'll take a camel. When you ride a camel, when they start going up, they don't go up on the twos or fours at the same time. They go one leg at a time. You better hold on. Can you bar the door? They'll shake you off. It's like a rocking ship. You feel like they got out there in the ocean, you know, like a regular a typhoon or something, you know, in a bad storm. When they saw the star, they rejoiced. They extremely great for us. And when they were coming to hell, they saw the young child with Mary's mother and fell down and worshipped them. And we worship the Lord tonight. Jesus in the building. I pray tonight, God, you go. When they see this video, uh, YouTube, Google Plus, anointed, consecrated, dead, let the power of God touch them from the crown of the head and the soul of the feet. Let that mouth fall double portion. Save the soul tonight, deliver them heal in Jesus' holy name. God, you told me 32 years ago you give me deliverance for healing ministry. When I pray for people, you will heal and they release their faith. You'll do a supernatural miracle in Jesus' favor and inside the will. Amen, amen. 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 And when they had opened their treasures, they presented to him gifts. They knew Jesus was the king. Today, the religious leaders, like back in the Israel time, the religious leaders of the United States of America, Jesus would come in the building today, they wouldn't recognize him. They would kick him out of the building. But thank God, Jesus is in that building, at least the brother of the Illinois, 407 South Douglas. God told me, he told me, preached 32 years ago, opened my mouth, said, George, don't worry what to say. I will put the words in your mouth. You will flow like the old message said. You will flow like the Ohio. You will flow like the Amazon. You will flow like the Nile. You will flow uh, like the Pacific Atlantic Ocean. In Jesus' holy name. And being warned to God in the dream. God still talks to people in dreams. 2016. I do my best work when I'm sleeping. When my mouth shut, when my eyes are closed, my ears are open, I'm a sleeping prophet. My best work, God gets your attention. I do better work when I'm sleeping than when I'm maybe on the way. You know what I mean? Read how many times he talked to men and women in the Bible about a dream. He still uses dreamers today. They departed to their own country another way. And when they were departed, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream. Now here's the angel giving the message. We don't worship angels or God's messengers, his ministering spirits. Saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. 
And we know Egypt needs bombs. Where so they don't know where they know Egypt there too. Because 1830, 1831, we had a bad, they had a bad winter in northern and central Illinois. They come down southern Illinois for the corn. There was famine in the land. And we got, uh, we called Cairo here over there, called Cairo, Egypt. We called Cairo, Illinois here. We got Karnak, we got these sites like they have in Egypt, Africa over there. And he said, and his mother flee to Egypt and be there until I bring thee word for Herod will seek the young child to destroy him. Herod went to kill him. He don't want to worship him. When he arose, he took the young child's mother by night and departed to Egypt. And was there until the death of Herod, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken of the Lord by the prophet, saying, Out in Egypt have I called my son. Then Herod, when he saw that he was mocked, the white men was exceedingly wroth and set forth and slew all the children that were best again. And in all coasts there have from two years over and under, according to the time which they diligently inquired it was. And can you imagine the mother's crying there? These poor hands and little babies. We're talking little male babies. Under two years old. You know, just like a bullet to kill them. And soldiers going there chop their heads off. Stabbing with a sword, I can't imagine how cruel, cold-blooded murder that is. You know what I mean? Because they're trying to kill baby Jesus. The world always wants to try to kill baby Jesus. And the devil wants to kill baby Jesus. And the flesh wants to double-cross baby Jesus. But thank God he's king and king, Lord, Lord. He no more baby than swallowing the cross no more. He's coming back on a white horse one of these days. So I can rest to come back with... A ten thousand of saints, King of King and Lord of Lords. They will fulfill what was spoken by Jeremiah the prophet, saying, In Wama, was there a voice heard lamentation and weeping and great mourning? Rachel wept weeping for her children, and could not be comforted because they are not. But we know where their little babies went. They went to heaven and up there with Jesus. But when Herod was dead, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared in dream to Joseph and each, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and go into the land of the other, for they were dead with some of the young child's life. And he arose and took the young child and his mother and came into the land of Israel. And when he heard that Archias did reign in Judea in the room of his father Herod, he was afraid. To go better, notwithstanding being warned of God in a dream. God still talking in a dream. Did 2,000 years ago, he's still doing 2,016. He turned aside into the parts of Galilee. And he came and dwelt in a city called Nazareth. Jesus of Nazareth. Remember that movie on TV about 1977? One of the greatest movies there. They might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophets. He shall be called a Nazarene because he was in. From the city of Nazareth, head deacon, Hobie, come up here tonight and we're going to have communion. And we're taking this communion in at least the Brother Church of Pinkerton, Illinois. But all you people on YouTube, Google Plus, in North America, South America, Africa, Europe, Middle East, Far East, share your communion in your home on your personal computer. Jesus, the personal Savior, personal uh, Messiah. Before I start the communion, this is your time. If somebody don't know Jesus Christ, the personal Savior, i got to make an altar call. Yesterday has gone. Today is the day of day salvation. Tomorrow might not come. This is your time. I want you to confess with your mouth, believe in your heart, Jesus Christ will save your soul. They say this prayer right by their head. Lord Jesus Christ, I'm a sinner. Lord Jesus Christ, Thank you for forgive me for my sin, Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for saving my soul, Lord Jesus Christ. I'm born again. My name is Brother Lance, Brother God. My grace decision my life. Amen, amen. You said that prayer. Give Jesus the best hand clap. Write me, email, at least to Brother Church, Sing of Illinois. My phone's there on, on my profile, YouTube. Or, or uh, write me. So we're rejoicing. We're happy. 
We used to have to Jesus on Christmas Eve, Christmas Day. That was the God is the greatest present of mankind. Jesus come in your heart. You know he's in your heart. Nobody can take Jesus out of your heart but you. Because when he lives in your heart forever and ever, that's the priceless, that's the greatest present anybody can ever give you in the whole universe. So we're going to be tonight in our communion. And Betty started coming down here over seven years. She used to be uh, doing the communion, and I'm so glad this is part of our services now. We're going to be in 1 Corinthians tonight, chapter, I think, 23, <laughs> or maybe 13. Let me get it right here. Hold on. Chapter 11. I'll get it right here. Okay. Lord Jesus, this is your communion. The body of Christ was broken for us. We do remember to you. You was on that cross. You died a terrible death. You put us on the cross. But when you was on the cross, we was on your mind. On when you was up there at Calvary, God got us there, Jerusalem, Israel. We thank you for forgiving for our sin and, and, and dying for us. You had to die, Jesus, to save the Messiah so we can live eternal life. We thank you, Jesus, holy name. Amen, amen. First Corinthians chapter 11, verses 23. For I have received the Lord, and which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same way in which he was betrayed, took bread. And when he had Given thanks, he break it and say, Take ye, this is my body which is broken for you. This do and remember to me. Okay, eat the body of Christ, the bread of life, Jesus Christ, for his glory. Lord Jesus, this is your great juice. And one thing, Brother and sister Christ, please, brother church, think of Illinois. Jesus' blood never lost as far two thousand years ago. I plead the blood of Jesus over you, over your doorpost, your house. That the death angel will never come against the demon devil in hell, and all principality, you root, darkness, world, spiritual wickedness, high places. For the world, or anybody come at you, cover you with the blood of Jesus. Don't let them perform the gifts of prosper. Thank you for your blood, Jesus. You had to shed your precious blood on Calvary so we could live. You had to die. And the blood never lost its power. Paul, Paul, one of the working Paul in the blood of the Lamb. John the Baptist said, the Lamb of God is the center of the world away. That's the Lamb of God is Jesus Christ. Amen, amen. And after the same manner, also we took the cup. When he had such things, this cup is the New Testament of my blood. This two years off of you. As ye drink it and remember to me. The blood of Jesus. Drink the blood of Jesus for his glory on Christmas Eve 2016. For as often eat this bread and drink this cup. You do. Show the Lord said to he come. Wherefore whosoever shall eat this bread and drink this cup of the Lord and worthy shall be guilty in the body and blood of the Lord. But here's the key verse for all men, women, I don't matter how old, how young you are, boys or girls, this is everybody. But let a man examine himself and let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. For he that he's a drinker in the world, like, he is a drink of damnation to himself, not deserving the Lord's body. For this cause many and wicked sick and many and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we should not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord. And we should not be condemned with the world. Wherefore, my brother, when you come together to eat, tell one for another, and if any man hunger, let him eat at the home 
and that you come not together to condemnation, and the rest of us said, order, when I come, may God has blessed upon his holy word, and that's the end of our service here, and I just want to tell you out there, have a happy Merry Christmas, a happy New Year, Jesus Savior Messiah 2016. Uh, Merry Christmas 2016, Happy New Year 2017. And all the people said, Amen. 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 And give Jesus the best hand, because we love you all. Have a good night.